then we look at uh, another one so if we copy this one with the total again this one will be basically if we remove this whole thing so it's going to be echo order or uh, sorry payment status doesn't equal no actually we should put it on the new line as well so that we can read it a little bit better doesn't equal no then on the new line let's put this we're going to display order payment status otherwise we want to display pending this is basically the status from the uh, from a PayPal value which is basically sent via IPN so okay we have this one done as well the next one will be if we copy this one actually this time uh, we're going to first check if order status equals one which is pending else we're gonna do something else we can remove all this so if it's uh, one then what we're going to do we're going to display a link actually we can move it onto a single line and put the link just as normal HTML so a href will be admin question mark page orders ampersand action equals remove ampersand ID equals and now we echo order ID then closing a tag remove and the a tag so that's fine then we have L statement obviously if it isn't one and this one also can go on the one line that's fine now if it isn't one then we just put spun class inactive with remove as well which will basically show the grayed out button okay if we remove this one from here now the last one is obviously editing which was editing now we have obviously orders rather than product let's amend this one and obviously we use edit ampersand a id and we send in the order id only this time rather than edit we're going to have it as a view even though the page is still called edit.php so that should do the trick if we go to our browser go to the orders uh, we've got obviously a few problems uh, first of which is a get orders method hasn't been created so let's move to the next, vi next video and have a look at this method